How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the scariest video clips that are trending on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Caracas, Venezuela witnessed an inexplicable event on the 6th of September 2023 as a storm blanketed the city. As torrential rains came pouring down, so did unidentified objects, leaving residents in a state of shock and wonder. Dennis Guzman was among the first to document this eerie occurrence. His footage shared on X captures what seems to be a dark object plummeting from the sky. It can be hard to see at first, but if you slow it down, you can see a dark object falling from the air. Initial reactions from viewers ranged from skepticism to curiosity. Some attributed the phenomenon to a mere water droplet sliding down a window pane. However, with a closer examination of the video, you can see the unidentified object falls behind a distant skyscraper. This subtle detail ignited a flurry of debate among netizens. Just as the online debate was heating up, a second piece of footage emerged from another part of Caracas. Jean Tarantino, unaware of Guzman's earlier post, recorded a strikingly similar incident. The mysterious object in his video, when slowed down, closely resembles the one captured by Guzman. Considerable number of residents, fueled by popular culture and age-old tales, proposed extraterrestrial explanations. Some thought it could be debris from an alien spacecraft or perhaps even probes sent by distant civilizations to study our planet. Others, however, thought atmospheric conditions caused satellites or space debris to re-enter Earth's atmosphere prematurely. With Caracas lying near the equator, where many satellites have their orbital paths, this theory seemed plausible to some. Despite the barrage of theories, however, no conclusive explanation has emerged as of yet. Authorities and meteorological experts in Venezuela are said to be analysing the events of that night. Until more information comes to light, the residents of Caracas are left with an enduring mystery. In early October, Reddit became a hub of wild theories thanks to a peculiar post. It all revolved around an unexpected anomaly posted on Planefinder, the UK-based real-time flight tracking service. Known for its comprehensive flight data, including aircraft speed, elevation, destination, and flight numbers, Plane Finder has earned the trust of enthusiasts and professionals alike since its launch back in 2009. But the latest incident has even the staunchest believers scratching their heads. An unidentified aircraft was observed zipping over France at a mind-boggling speed of Mach 14 at an altitude of around 70,000 feet. To put this in perspective, Mach 1 represents the speed of sound approximately 767 miles per hour. Thus, Mach 14 translates to over 10,700 miles per hour. To break it down even further, if a car were to travel at a typical highway speed of around 60 miles per hour, this aircraft would have covered the distance from New York to Los Angeles in less than 15 minutes. This is an astonishing pace, especially when considering the world's fastest commercial aircraft, the Concorde, had a top speed of just over Mach 2. Moreover, the 70,000-foot altitude at which the craft was moving is noteworthy. Such altitudes are typically reserved for high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft like the U-2 spy plane. Commercial aircraft, for context, generally cruise at altitudes between 30 and 40,000 feet. The Reddit community, known for its penchant for mysteries, quickly jumped into action. Theories ranged from extraterrestrial visitors making a quick flyby of Earth, to top-secret military experimental crafts breaking barriers that were hitherto considered insurmountable. 
The idea that it might be a hacker's trick using false script injection to distort the data on Plane Finder also gained traction among skeptics. Yet, despite the swirling theories and the inherent excitement, there's a sobering truth at the heart of this enigma. We still don't have concrete answers. As of now, there's been no official statement or explanation from plane finder, aviation experts or authorities about the mysterious aircraft. Nestled deep in South Africa's landscape, roughly 300 kilometers east of Johannesburg, near the town of Umpalutsi in Umpumalanga, lies a peculiar geological formation. On the vertical face of a granite outcropping stands a massive footprint that stretches an impressive 1.2 meters from toe to heel. This region, which brushes the borders of Swaziland, is no stranger to mysteries, but this particular discovery has sparked significant intrigue. Footage from the renowned South African politician and explorer Michael Tellinger shows him analyzing this so-called giant's footprint. The giant footprint. In my opinion, probably the greatest example of a giant footprint in rock. I haven't seen anything better yet. It was first discovered in 1931 by a farmer or a guy around this area called Stoffel Kutsia who was hunting in this area. According to Tellinger's estimates, a creature towering between 7 to 7.5 metres would be required to make such a colossal imprint. Well, he refers to this as a place where the ogres once used to live. The ogres and the man-eating giants that used to live in this part of the world. But how could this be possible? While the footprint's origin is puzzling, even Tellinger, its most passionate advocate, recognises the challenges in explaining its existence. The notion of a giant meandering through molten granite kilometres beneath the Earth's surface is perplexing. However, Tellinger offers a captivating theory. Ancient giants involved in mining activities might have stepped into a slurry of wet, powdered granite, which then dried and preserved the footprint's impression. Over time, geological shifts could have moved this originally horizontal imprint to its now vertical position. This theory gains intrigue when one considers the site's geological context. The Umpaluzi Batholith, where the footprint lies, is part of an ancient rock unit dating back an astonishing 3.1 billion years. The Batholith's age, combined with the footprint's mysterious origin, prompts us to ask, who or what could have left such a mark? Enter the Nephilim, mysterious beings referenced in biblical and other ancient texts. Often described as the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men, the Nephilim have been portrayed as giants. Biblical accounts, notably in the book of Genesis, depict them as mighty warriors and men of renown. Other ancient tales and folklore from various cultures also speak of giant beings that once roamed the earth. Could the footprint in Mpumalanga be a relic of these mythical beings? This is not a carving, this is real. While the Nephilim and their tales are fascinating, they are of course shrouded in myth and religious interpretation. Still, the footprint's existence is an undeniable fact. Could it be a mere geological anomaly or truly a testament to giants walking the earth in ancient times? As researchers continue to study the footprint and its origins, one thing's certain. The stories and theories it inspires will keep us wondering about the limits of our understanding and the vast tapestry of Earth's history. Here we are. We can't wish this away. Here it is. What's fascinating about it, it's obviously very clearly a footprint. You can't misinterpret this as anything else other than a footprint. In a startling incident, a resident of St Albans, Hertfordshire was left bewildered after his smart doorbell camera captured what appeared to be a triangular-shaped UFO flying over his home. Matt Doherty, a 43-year-old logistics manager, was enjoying a quiet evening in watching television with a friend, Kevin Barrett when his phone alerted him to some movement detected by his doorbell camera. Expecting perhaps a late night visitor or an errant delivery, Doherty was astounded by the footage that played back to him. The footage shows a triangular unidentified flying object with three luminous points silently moving across the night sky. 
It seamlessly glides through the sky before disappearing over the woodland near Doherty's residence. Seeking clarity, Doherty consulted his aviation enthusiast father, who, after examining online flight trackers, confirmed that no planes were in the area at the time of this incident. This absence of a logical explanation has ignited curiosity, leading Doherty and others to wonder if they witnessed a hint of extraterrestrial activity. This mysterious event joins a growing list of unexplained aerial sightings reported worldwide, leaving many pondering the possibilities. Following the recent surge in unexplained phenomena caught on home security devices like the one we just saw, Ring Doorbell has thrown its hat into the cosmic ring. The home security company recently launched their million dollar search for extraterrestrials competition, offering a whopping one million dollar prize to the person who manages to capture authentic footage of extraterrestrial life using a ring device. The announcement came on the heels of a widely discussed incident where a Ring Doorbell security camera captured what appeared to be a UFO. This incident sparked debates and curiosity worldwide. Ring, in response to this global intrigue, has called on its users to be vigilant and ready to record the next otherworldly visitor. Open exclusively to US residents aged 18 and above, the competition seeks to find unaltered scientific evidence of a real extraterrestrial life form. The challenge? Capture these extraordinary moments using a Ring surveillance device. The individual who captures irrefutable evidence will not only gain fame, but will also receive the grand prize dispersed in $50,000 payments spread over 20 years. In a statement, Ring emphasised the diverse range of unexpected moments that their devices have captured recently. Now they're upping the ante by looking beyond our world. Ring has engaged a space and extraterrestrial expert to meticulously review all video submissions that adhere to the contest's guidelines. Only footage that stands up to rigorous scrutiny and is deemed incontrovertible evidence of an extraterrestrial life form will be considered for the grand prize. With this bold move, Ring has not only capitalised on a trending topic, but has also incentivised millions of users to actively engage and participate in the search for life beyond our planet. Whether or not the cosmos responds remains to be seen. In a follow-up to our August report, fresh details have emerged from the heart of the Amazon jungle, where Peruvian villagers from Alto Nanay, northeast of Lima, have been living in fear of alleged alien attacks. The indigenous Iquito community in Alto Nanay began reporting eerie nighttime assaults by mysterious entities on the 11th of July. These beings, as described by the locals, are reminiscent of fantastical characters from popular movies, evoking images of the Predator and Spider-Man's nemesis, the Green Goblin. Distinctive features include their towering seven-foot stature, protective armoured exterior, broad heads, and captivating yellow eyes. Recently, this unsettling narrative gained more traction when a photograph purportedly from the region surfaced. This striking image displays an unfamiliar glowing humanoid entity, seemingly emitting a golden luminescence as it ambles past a tree. Labelling these uninvited visitors as Los Paraqueras or the Face Peelers, community members have furnished a vivid description of these beings. From rounded shoes that allow them to levitate to elongated heads adorned with masks covering their yellow eyes, these creatures are unlike anything known to the residents. What's more, their seeming invulnerability is causing significant distress. Reports include tales of villagers attempting to defend themselves, shooting at these beings, only for the bullets to have no effect, allowing the creatures to vanish unhindered. As panic and concern continues to spread, the community leaders have reached out, pleading for assistance to combat this looming threat. The pervasive fear has disrupted the village's routines, with children too afraid to sleep and mothers keeping constant vigil through the night. Furthermore, the eerie accounts from Alto Nanai resonate with local folklore. Some villagers have drawn parallels between these alien entities and the legendary Palakiras, 
mythical creatures believed to prey on human faces, fat and vital organs. While local authorities have visited and surveyed the site, it remains unclear whether any conclusive evidence supporting the village's claims has been uncovered. For now, the mystery of the Amazon's face peelers remains unsolved, leaving a community in desperate search for answers and assistance. Before we take a look at what some are calling a skinwalker sighting, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. A recent TikTok video by user Old Fogey John has the platform buzzing with intrigue. Filmed during a nighttime stroll in the woods, the video reveals something rather unsettling. Take a look. An unidentified entity appears in the darkness. The startling appearance has led some viewers to speculate that the creature could be a skinwalker, a being from Native American folklore, particularly among the Navajo. Skinwalkers are believed to be shape-shifting witches with malevolent intentions. However, as unsettling as the footage might be, it's hard to determine if it's genuine evidence of the supernatural, clever editing, or a well-timed prank. Whatever the case, old Fogey John's eerie encounter remains a topic of heated discussion among TikTok users. Now, in case you haven't heard the awesome news, we've launched a brand new second channel. If you want to see the latest episode, check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a spooky playlist there you can binge on. Now, leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the scariest or weirdest. We love hearing your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 